Guys, this is Shamash here, a brand new video today. We're doing Wife Deku with the Quiet Place Monster. So, before we get started, next video is going to be Wife Deku was Voltron. Not the Netflix series, but he's actually have the ability to turn into the Five Lions. So, he can turn his part, his full body into the Five Lions. And he most can change his size, though. So, if he wants to be really big, he can only turn to really giant or just normal size. So, yeah, that's how it's going to go. If it, anyone wanted the story version of that, that's going to take me a while until like, I can figure out a way to get our Netflix working. But I think it's not going to work at all, so like, sorry and stuff. But if I figure out a way to like try to figure out to watch that on Netflix, I'll be really glad if I can. Because now I'll just watch episode 1 though and stuff, because episode 1 is the best. But let's get this started. What if Deku was a quiet place monster? Let me set this fucking timer. So yeah. Uh, wrong, wrong, wrong thing. Let's check C downloads. Uh, yeah, you really couldn't find that much stuff in the quiet place if you search up though. I mean, you can search up the monster, but you'll just get weird things actually. So let's stay with um this. So yeah. So we first started off where a meteor hits in the forest area. And mostly, the League of Villains are in the forest. Mostly Shigaraki and Kirigiri. Because, well, they are mostly trying to collect DNA. For, uh, mostly collect food, though. You're gonna say, why the heck are they collecting food? Now, this is what the reason they want it to be. First thing, they want a lot of rodents in the area, though. Sometimes they can kill them, and mostly make a particularly small army of technically spies for UA. Sometimes they can go into the area of UA while anyone noticing, and mostly can look wherever they're looking and link up to somebody's mind. Sometimes somebody can look at... So, let's say that, you know how, like, you can... You know those type of, um, goggle things where you can control a machine? It's like that. So, well, you can control the machine, and you control the mice where it goes or something. And you're gonna say, what the heck, they couldn't just pull out some other stuff, though. But because they want something really fresh, though. Mostly mice around this area don't get raw stuff. So, well, they're there, and they see a meteor crash. And, well, Shigaraki and Kirigiri go to the meteor. And, well, Deku is there. The quiet police monster. And mostly, remember guys, Deku hunts by sound. So, well, he wouldn't have any eyes. And mostly, Shigaraki and Kirigiri are, like... Really scared of that because it looks really weird. And mostly, Shigaraki makes some noise and Deku charges at them. So, well, Kirigiri opens a warp gate and well, Deku goes through it. And, well, the warp gates, it went. Let's check to see. Where do I want, really want this at? It's where the place where they have um, the basement where I kept Nomu Deku at. So, it's down there. So, well, they call All for One, and All for One says, yes, what is it, Shigaraki? He tells them that, okay, first thing. Uh, you wouldn't believe us, but a monster just landed in the woods. And he's saying, are you being serious? And he said, do I, do I sound stupid? And we all know he is stupid because he has a hand fetish. I mean, man, if we had to say the, I bet he would have any type of hands. He only likes hands of humans, so like, man, you have a hand of Fetish. Uh, those are some things I had. Zombie Apocalypse. Somebody actually wants a part three for. I think one, two. I think it's Zombie Apocalypse. Can't remember. I'm gonna to look for it. But I actually will have a special actually for um a villain version of Deku. This might uh, I had to say this so uh, before we continue on. This one is actually my favorite version of Deku. Most of the hair because I actually like the hairstyle. Really good. And. That looks good. So this villain version of Deku would be really good though if anyone wants that special. It's going to be like 30 minutes long. Or you guys can actually choose how long can it be. It only has to be 30 or more. Can't be 2 hours. It has to be 1 hour or less. So well, you guys got to choose. It can be like an hour long then I can actually go over details or more. Or it can just be 30, mi 30 minutes long though for our accomplishment. 
But I think I might have the uh, video on, like, if we get more subscribers, though. I don't know how many we have so far, but I have to check. So let's continue on. So, well, when they're in the basement where Deku is, there's no noise. So, like, he can't. He's just trying to move around, trying to hear anything, but there's nothing there. So, well, all of when it says, so there's a monster in the place where we keep the Nomu at. And, well, he says yes. And, well, he says that. Okay, first thing. He tells Kirigiri to open a warp gate. And he does. He tells Shigrock and Kirigiri to go through the warp gate, though. And, mostly, uh, he asks them, so how the heck did it, so what the hell does it look like? And he tells them that it doesn't have, it didn't have any eyes. So, well, all for one says that it must be hanging by sound. And, well, Shigaraki says, yeah, it's, um, it heard me for even when he's, like, uh, talking really softly to, like, shit to Kirigiri, though. And, mostly, well, all for one really wants this thing for actually a good experiment. Because if he uses it, all, all might can actually technically kill it. But it'll be really cool. So, um, in episode 2, actually, I'm actually gonna have a comment section in this one saying that, Hey guys, when when they attack UA, should Deku be on um, Class 1A side where they don't get... So this is how it would actually be. So Deku is an under spy for the Class 1A, and then when they get to the USJ attack, well, I actually change up the timeline, actually. I mostly kill almost half of Class 1A, but you guys can go in the comment section below and tell me who should I kill. But that's for somebody, for part 2, if anyone wants that. Because remember, guys, we have to think of a community. We can't just be alone. Just remember, guys, one stick, if it breaks alone, but a thousand sticks, it won't break at all. I mean, unless Meteor Attack, Thanos Gauntlet, uh, fire. Eesh. Yeah. Uh, why the fuck's that on there? Sorry. So let's continue on. So, well, all, f I mean, all for one says that, okay, so you guys are in the base, right? He doesn't, yeah. So, well, all for one makes a clone of himself. And, well, the clone of himself has every single quirk he has. So, well, he tells Kirigiri to open a warp gate where his area is. So, what well, he does in the copy of all for one, mostly says, where the heck's the thing at, anyway. And he says it's downstairs. And, well, all for one goes down there really softly, though. And Deku can't really tell where is he, though. And he's trying to, he's like this, though. Where his armor is mostly showing more skin, though. And this were the part where all for one we just give him two quirks, mostly shape shifting and intelligence times so he won't be stupid and stuff. So, well, all for one gets immediately his obscene needles and stabs them to Deku's skin. Not trying to kill him, but mostly in the area of his mouth. So, well, Deku tries to, like, um, Deku can't do anything. And, well, he mostly, Deku passes out. And, well, all for one says, Shigaraki, Kirigiri, come down here. And, mostly, Deku's, like, really knocked out. Like, hung over a crack. So, well, he tells him that, okay, Kirigiri, um, warp gate, a gate, like, a little cage over here, like a big cage. He would say, like, about, uh, the one that we actually fit the Nomu in or something. So, well, he does, and they actually have spare cages around there. So, well, all for one, he uses his tumble up his floating cork where he can float stuff. I don't know how to actually pronounce telepathy or float. I'm just gonna call it floating because I can't say it. Floating cork to actually push Deku in there into the cage. No fucking homo jokes. No homo, am I right? Fuck. But yeah. So, whoop. Uh, wait, why do I want to do with this? So. A few minutes later, uh, Deku's, a few minutes, or a few hours actually later, he wakes up and he's still in his quiet place, or his death angel more form. And, well, he's trying to get out, trying to bite the cage though and stuff. And, well, Orphan says that, ha, huh, so you are awake already. And, well, Deku doesn't answer because he doesn't know how to use his quirk yet. And, well, he says, huh. Do you know these actually bars actually block off your quirk, right? 
And, well, he really does not know what he's saying, because, remember, the, these actually think, the cages they actually use to block off all quirks. It's really cool, though. It's like, um, those dragon-proof cages from How to Train Your Dragons, or Race to the Edge, because actually Race to the Edge is connected to dragons, How to Train Your Dragons, too. Because nobody understands that, and they're stupid as fuck. I'm just saying. Just saying. But I think How to Train Your Dragons 1, and then, like, the two lists and miniseries on that, then it gets to two, because they actually had two of them. Really cool. But nobody actually pieced this together, though. It's the actually same one, you dumbasses. So, well, let's continue on. So, well, off when it says that, I'm actually going to open the cage. And, well, off when she walks into the cage, and Deku's still trying to, like, bite off one of those stuff. But, well, off when it opens the cage, though. And, well, Deku's just going to attack him, but when he gets out of the cage, his two quirks immediately activate. And, well, immediately the intelligent quirk works by immediately allowing Deku to speak. And he's saying, where the hell am I? And mostly off when says that, you're on the planet Earth. And, well, he tells him that, what the fuck is Earth anyway? And, well, he tells him that, you actually have a, Earth is actually a place where humans live. And mostly, uh, Deku says that, huh. So, well, off when tells him that, how about this? He tells him that you actually have two options. One, I kill you, and I'll just turn you into a Nomu. Or two, me, you actually become, you mostly join the League of Villains. And, well, Deku really doesn't want to die because he really doesn't know actually how they look. So, what well, he says, fine. And, well, off one tells him that actually you have powers. And you're going to say, what the fuck are powers? First thing, you have quirks. Number one, I actually give you two quirks, though. And intelligent quirks, sometimes you can speak to us, and you actually learn over time. And shape-shifting quirk, sometimes you can change your appearance, though. And mostly, Deku... Deku really doesn't know how anyone looks, though. Oh, yeah, I forgot to give him an eyeball quirk, so he can actually check to see how people look, though. But never mind. He tells him that... So, you know how, like, you, sh like, form up your armor pieces and stuff? And he says, yeah, why? He tells him that, could you do that? And he says, fine. So, what he does, and, well, all for one doesn't stand with the obsidian thing, because that knocks you out. He mostly puts his hand, mostly touches Deku, and gives him a third quirk. A quirk that allows him to make eyes on his skin. Not firing lasers, though, not eye on eye, but eyeballs. And he can actually form eyeballs on any part of his body. And, well, he tells him that that's better. So, well, uh, Deku asks, what the heck you did to me anyway? And, well, he tells him that I gave you a third quirk, actually. I actually gave you a quirk that allows you to actually, uh, form eyeballs on your body, though. And mostly Deku's thinking about that. And immediately eyeballs appear on his arm. Uh, let, let me give you a good picture. Yeah, right here. Like, parts of his arms. Or, like, his long fucking arms. I never thought of drawing this bullshit. It was amazing. It's like, this, it's like um, Beast Bendy, but, like, if he was an ink creature. If he was, like, a, a organic life form. But, like, eh. So, well, immediately eyes pop up on Deku's. Let's check see. Right here. On his skin. Let's see on his body. So, well... Off one says, that's fair. Now you can actually see me, though. And mostly Deku says that, thanks. So, well, Deku asks that. So how did I supposed to use the third quirk anyway? My shape-shifting one. And we'll be telling him that. Just think of a... Just think of something, though. And mostly he thinks of himself as mostly a kid. Because technically he is a kid, because he's technically 15. So, well, he actually forms some, a puddle, actually, and reforms as a human being, but, well, mostly eyeballs, actually, on uh, face, were the place he actually supposed to be. And mostly with green hair. And mostly, he actually has clothes. So, yeah. So, well, 
Because I did not want to make Susan, you heard me fucking Susan, come to sue you and some murders because you just been fucking up everybody. I think, if I had to say this, guys, before we continue on, I think YouTube is actually sexist. Because they will not take down the fucking females that are doing dumb shit out here. They're allowing them because they're fucking sexist. You guys understand when you get in trouble and say, Hey, I bet you I bet you $10 that if it was a female who did this, it would be a slap on the fucking wrist or some bullshit, though. It would, actually, my friend. It would. Because everyone knows that females don't get in trouble that much as men. And they always don't get that much to blame. That is true. So, well, off with says, good. And, well, he tells him to follow me. So, well, Deku and off, Deku's falling off for one, though. And, mostly, Shigaraki and Kirigiri are just drinking some alcohol. Mostly beers. And, mostly, off one says that, well, Shigaraki and Kirigiri, here's our news, um, person here anyway. And, well, he really doesn't know what to actually call him, though. And, off one says that, what do you want us to call you by anyway? And he tells him that, just call me by Deku. And, well, he says, here's our news installment to the League of Villains, Deku. And, mostly, Shigaraki says that, so where the hell is that big, um, beast thing, though? And he says that, you're actually looking at right down there, though. And, well, Shigaraki says that, are you actually pulling my leg? Because, are you actually joking? Because he can't really tell. And, well, he actually says yes. And, well, Deku says that. Oh, so you think that I'm stupid, like, anyway. And I actually remember when I was actually going to kill you in that forest. And, well, Shigaraki says that. Oh, so you are that thing. And he's saying, yeah, I am. You remember being so glad that actually, uh, your friend over there opened, like, a weird portal. That actually didn't kill you. And, well, Kirigiri says that. That would be me, actually. And, well, the only thing is Deku actually eats is, um, meat. Uh, he really doesn't need water that much, so he's like a camel. He doesn't really have to eat that much, though. Um, he hunts for sport sometimes, though, like the Indominus Rex. But, um, had to say this one thing only. The Indominus Rex was badass. Of the Lost Raptor with the Indominus Rex? Man, that's badass. But... Megalodon with the Indominus Rex. Man, that thing could look visible. And it can swim in water. Technically, it can be the deadliest thing in water. So that means it can eat. It's really big, though, and stuff. So, like, it's gonna kill everybody. Oof. So, well... Deku... Um... Deku's mostly saying... Mostly, Deku asks Kirigiri for a drink. So, well, Kirigiri passes him a beer. So, he gets it and just drinks it, though. And, well, all for one, the clone of all for one, actually, because he had a copy of him. He's mostly just taking this form for a while, of a copy. And, well, Shigaraki asks his all for one, so what type of quirks he gave him anyway? And he actually tells him that I actually gave him three quirks, actually. And he knew that if he gave him more, that means he would go insane. But what what the intelligence quirk actually helps you like force um so let's say you had three quirks. The intelligence quirk would be one and two other ones. If you get a new one, your intelligence quirk would immediately try to not make you go insane. The more quirks you have, it's harder for the intelligence quirk to keep you sane. Until like you're a stupid nomu that like tries to kill everybody. He tells that I actually gave him three quirks, an eyeball quirk, an intelligent quirk, and a shape shifting quirk. So, well, Deku remembers that he has a shape-shifting quirk, and he figures out that maybe I should keep a record how many things I just shape-shifted to. And, well, a few days later, Toga and Twice get introduced earlier. Let's check see. Ooh, we're running out of good time, actually. I like this, though. Oh, yeah, my fucking neck. 2B2T Housemaster. I might just make my own version of 2B2T, but, like, the peacefulest Minecraft server... The Vanakin Minecraft server. If anyone actually has been playing the Vanakin Minecraft server, please put it hashtag Pop Bob. Because we all know who Pop Bob is, guys. If you guys ever watch Fit MC, please go to him. 
Pop Bob is the notorious griefer. He does whatever he wants, what he wants. I think Pop Bob's actually Housemaster in disguise, because Housemaster does not see on the server, and Pop Bob is never on the server at all anymore, because he has left. Because Housemaster is Pop Bob, actually. And Pop Bob will return because Housemaster might be getting bored. Because he said, I have all this power, I can't do anything with it. But he created an alternate account called Pop Bob. And he caused mayhem, though. He figured out glitches, so he fixed the glitches, So And he really didn't care because Pop Bob and Housemaster are the exact same beans. What do you think, though? Yeah, I think that's a theory, though. Maybe a Yu-Gi-Oh theory. Damn it. But yeah. Let's get day one. So, well, Deku, uh, mostly Deku's not getting drunk yet. Because he's on his seventh beer can of this day. He had, like, 12 of them the other day, so, like, yeah. So, well, uh, Deku overhears that, actually, Tilgan and Twice have a blood cork and a, uh, copying cork. Or mostly his ability to clone himself, clone anything. And mostly, Toga walks up to Deku when he's still drinking his 8th beer. And, well, she says, hey, my name is Toga. And, well, Deku, there's only actually one problem. I forgot to tell you guys this. When she should the quirk, the louder the sound is, mostly it's harder to keep his form. And, well, Deku says, not so loud, you idiot. And, well, she says, sorry. And, well, she says that, oh, what the heck is your quirk anyway? And mostly, Deku tells her that I actually have three quirks. Mostly, he told her that I have a shape shifting quirk, an eyeball quirk, and an intelligent quirk. And well, uh, twice actually said twice actually um says something really something like a normal voice, but that hurt Deku like um things so much that Deku's one of his arms actually were gonna turn back to his alien form. And, well, Toga says, wait, so that's your shape shifting quirk? And, well, he says, yeah, if you tell your friend over there to shut the fuck up anyway, though. And, well, um, she says, wait, why exactly? And he tells her that, you really wouldn't believe me, would you? And, well, Deku stands up, though, and he says that, okay, first thing. He actually tells twice to shut the hell up because he's fucking game on his headache. Because, well, his voice is not aggravating, but it's really loud for him. And, well, twice would say, fine then, you idiot. And, well, uh, Shigaraki would say that you really don't want to piss him off. And he'd say, why, why not, though? He's just a kid. And, well, he's, oh, then Deku says, oh, you think I'm just a kid? And he says, yeah. So, well, Deku says, fine. So, well, he turns into his quiet place monster form. And he says, does this look scary to you anyway? And, well, twice, twice is actually scared now of those stuff. And, well, he turns back into his human form, though. And he says, I thought so. And shut the hell up anyway. So, well, Toga asks him that. So, why the heck do you turn to that monster thing anyway? And he tells her that, well, if the, so he tells her that, actually, I'm really sensitive to sound. And mostly if you talk too loudly, though, mostly my body will shape shift back into that form, actually. And, well, she says, gotcha. So, let me just get my fucking charger, because my phone's gonna die, so I won't fucking lose this recording when I actually lose my good hard fucking work. Uh, yep. Yeah. But guys, please comment down below, what type of quirk would you have in My Hero Academia? My quirk mostly would be, if if we actually had to make up our own quirks, what would it be, actually? And please comment down below, what type of quirk would you have, and what, what, I mean, okay, I'm trying to say this, sorry. But, um, guys, comment down below, what type of quirk would you have, and tell me if you made the quirk, or is this a quirk from My Hero Academia? And please comment down below, what does it do? My quirk mostly would be, well, phasing, so I can phase through any objects like Muriel, since I can look at girls, like Mineta. Mineta with Muriel's quirk, oh my god, what has, 
what, what has Mike or Academia done with Rule 34? But yeah, Rule 34. Guys, we have to watch that shit out. Quiet Place could come to Rule 34. But let's continue on. So, well, Toga says that, um, wait, what did I say? Oh, yeah. So, well, Toga says that, oh, okay then. So, well, he asks Kirigiri for another beer. So, Kirigiri says that, you really think that's enough anyway? And he says that, remember I drank like 12 beers the other day? And he says, yeah. So, he asks him for another one. So, he actually gives him another one. So, well, um, Toga says that, wait, so you're in, when you were in that monster form, though, you really didn't have any eyeballs anyway, so how, how the hell do you hunt, or, like, kill anyone? And he tells her that, well, I told you, I was sensitive to the sound, and mostly I can hear anyone who ever does anything. Hear a pen drop, or anything. Mostly when you're cutting down a tree, I'll hear it, they'll actually come to you, though, and actually kill you. And, well, he told her that, with those things actually on my feet, I move faster, though, and actually can slice somebody apart, though. And, well, Awful One appears, actually, and tells her that, I meant Awful One appears, and says that, League of Villains, actually, I want, um, I want you, Deku, to take on one of our new recruits, and, at night, to kill some people. And he said you could kill any random people you want, though, as long as you don't get caught. And he says, fine. So, well, he chooses Toga because... Twice was being a dick, though, because, like, if you're really sent to the sound that you're gonna make fucking loud noise, you're gonna get punched in the fuck shit. So, well, uh, he says, I'll take the girl anyway. And, well, he says, fine. So, well, twice actually says that, wait, why the hell are you not taking me? And he says that, let me think, you're being loud as fuck, I had to turn back to my monster form, now I'm scared to show you. Do you want me to kill you? Let's check see any more options though. And well, twice is just shutting up now because he does not want to die. And Shigaraki and Kirigiri and all for one, I would not stop him from killing somebody at all. So well, a few hours later, actually, Deku's getting ready to actually go out tonight and kill some people. And mostly, uh, they go through a warp gate. And, well, they are now in, like, an alleyway. And, well, Deku tells her to actually mostly just be quiet, though, and stuff. So, well, they're running around the city trying to find somebody to kill. And they actually find two muggers that actually were going to mug somebody. Or, like, rob them, if you guys do not know what mug means. Because I know my viewers are mostly 13 or 17, though. So, well... Deku sees them and says, hey, you idiots. And he say, oh, it's just a fucking kid anyway. And well, he says that, that's fucking it. I had to tell a dumbass over here looks like Deadpool fucker. And yes, Deku did watch Deadpool. And he does know how Deadpool actually looks like. He had to say, that fucking Deadpool cunt, though. I had to listen to somebody yell so fucking loudly that I had to turn back to my fucking monster form. And, well, they really don't know what he's talking about. And... He turns back, he turns into his monster form and says that you two are dead anyway. And, well, he tells Toga to actually get on top of his back because, well, if he, he's, he's mostly going to kill them. So, well, she does and he tells her to hold on tight because he can move really fast. So, well, he slices both of them apart though. So, they, they're like, they're one, their bodies are over there and their one's over there and, well, Toga see all this blood. And Deku actually has some blood on his arms. And when he turns back to his human form, they're like, his hands are fully red. And, well, he says, finally the fucker can shut the fuck up anyway. And Deku does swear a lot in this one, so you gotta wait here a lot of cuss words. YouTube, please do not demonetize me. Oh, wait, I forgot. I can't get demonetized, actually. I learned this. I can't get demonetized because I can't make money because it takes a fucking kappa. Thanks a lot, Kappa. I can't make fucking money on YouTube. So until like I'm 18, then I can make money. So like, yeah. This channel is, I am technically 13. So I sound like a, I'm really short for a 13 year old. But like, I'm 13, okay, YouTube? I'm fucking 13. 
So when I get to 18, you guys will see a fucking heavily lawsuit for like 17 years of missing work of my money. Where's my fucking money, YouTube? Where's my fucking money? But yeah. So, well, Toga's likes those guys. Mostly Toga's collecting all this blood, though. And, well, Deku says that you really like blood, don't you? And, well, Toga says, yeah, that's my quirk. And, well, uh, Deku says, wait, what the hell was your quirk again? And, well, she explains her quirk allows her to lick somebody's blood and how long, much blood she has. She can turn it into them. And, mostly, Deku checks to see if he has any blood, but mostly his skin's too rough to actually cut into. So, well, he cannot, though. So, well... Um, let's check see. What do I want more? So, well, the person that was going to get mugged, actually, sees him and says, Oh my god, it's a monster and a, a villain and stuff, and it's a female. You don't fucking do that. First thing, if somebody helps you by killing the people that were going to kill you, potentially, maybe, you don't fucking call the cops on them. If somebody, like, shot the person that was going to kill you, sorry, this is Keelan. If somebody was going to shoot me, and somebody shot them, I'm going to be fucking glad. I'm going to say, I know you're a villain, but thanks. So I wouldn't do that shit, though. I would just say, thank you very much. And I would just say, I'm going to forget everything happened here. I would just shut the fuck up. But, well, Deku says, oh, not this fucker. Not one. And, well, she screams, though. And Deku's, Deku's, like, head immediately, like, says, shut the hell up, you cunt slut. And, well, she says that, how dare you, young man, call me a slut, though, and, well, he says that, you saw what fucking happened to those two people anyway, I'm gonna kill you anyway. So, well, Dick turns back to his monster form, though, and, well, uh, the girl's still screaming, so Deku's brain immediately does this, and, well, he's, like, trying to shut her up, though, and stuff. And he's telling Toga to kill her or something so he can stop doing this. And while well, Toga gets her knife though and stabs the person, mostly slaying her throat. And well, she stops screaming. And well, Deku's little things. Oh wait, he does have eyes. Ha ha, bitch. Called it. You guys can't see it, can you? Nobody can see this though. I'm sorry, but right there. Wait, okay, right here. Right here, that's an eyeball. That's a fucking eye. E, why? Sorry. Eyes. That's a fucking eyeball. Quiet place monsters confirmed have eyeballs. Eyeballs confirmed. Confirmed. But yeah, this. Uh, let's continue on. By the way, before we stop. Ah oh, shit. That's yeah. Is that fucking rune? Motherfucker, that phone's fucking rune. Great, I can't use it. Wait. Wait, no, it's not. Good. So, whoop. Well, yeah, true. So, whoop. Daggy stops doing that thing with his, like, shell things. And, whoop, he turns back into his human form. He says, finally, that fucking slut shut the hell up. And, whoop. He tells Toga she did a great job. So, well, I think this we're going to have to end off here, though, so I can get my AMV for Voltron ready. But this has been the Shadow Master. Please, guys, um, if you are going to get somebody pregnant, please think if they're good people, though. Because, remember, if it, Rule 34 exists, if it exists, there's porn of it. So, if you if you search up Pornhub and you search in your favorite TV show from 1995... It's going to have Rule 34 on there. Because Rule 34 always says, if it exists, there is porn of it. Like, just the robot always says, if it exists, there's porn of it. But this has been the Shadow Master. Goodbye, guys. And please comment down below, what do you want for Zombie Apocalypse? I meant, um, um, uh, what type of, I mean, what do you want to want to continue on with this? Yes or no? You guys can comment down below. And damn, boy, he or she thick. Bye.